then I press speed again and you can see it is 18.4 degrees I will then put it to okay it goes only to 13 degrees today I have uh, newly washed uh, my uh, cushion covers so uh, they are nice and fresh it is uh, because um, yeah, over time um, stuff will uh, get a bit uh, smelly when it is uh, lying uh, year round in, in a boat uh, these uh, cushion covers is of course uh, also cheap <laughs> It is, uh, yeah, as you can see, from uh, from Ikea. Uh, yeah, some some people say uh, a Bavaria yacht is uh, a Ikea boat, <laughs> but um, ah, I don't know. But um, it is good, uh, a good thing that uh, you can get all these uh, cheap um, cushion covers and also my blankets here is uh, from IKEA so you can yeah put a lot of equipment in your boat and uh, get it very very cheap as you know I had a robbery in my boat and uh, they didn't steal <laughs> all my IKEA stuff but uh, it is also yeah the IKEA stuff is uh, pretty cheap you can get <laughs> all this for one dollar <laughs> or something so uh, there's no need to steal it and it is uh, then time to uh, try to fix my uh, temperature sensor inside my Erma uh, transducer and uh, yeah if uh, your temperature sensor isn't working at all uh, you must uh, yeah, put on a new temperature sensor but uh, if it is uh, measuring uh, something, uh, you can uh, fix it. Uh, the problem is um, that when the temperature sensor is uh, yeah, made, um, they have uh, mounted a, um, uh, something called a thermistor uh, inside and uh, over time uh, it will uh, lose uh, its um, resistance uh, inside and uh, it will then show a higher uh, number on the, the instrument uh, on the outside but um, yeah today I will um, yeah, open the cable and uh, I will look for the brown and the white uh, wire and uh, I will then take a measurement to see uh, if um, yeah, if it is right or not but um, yeah it is uh, pretty normal that uh, you can uh, calibrate these uh, thermistors um, and uh, yeah I will I'll try to, to do that uh, today I have uh, now opened up the Erma transducer cable here and um, as you can see there is uh, the brown and the white wire here. Uh, that is the two that is going to the temperature sensor. And then we have the red and the green one. That is uh, the two that is going uh, to the paddle wheel or the, the speed uh, sensor. And uh, maybe you can see it in the middle. We have uh, a little uh, metal wire that is um, yeah a shield uh, wire but uh, the only ones I need to uh, cut is the white and the, the brown wires here and then I will uh, take a measurement to see uh, how it, it looks I have uh, then cut the wire and um, then I have uh, soldered on um, 10 kilo ohm uh, resistor uh, to the brown wire here and um, as you can see uh, yeah, here in a moment I will um, make it a bit uh, more permanent but uh, for now I will uh, yeah, 
just do it like this. But um, yeah, it is a 10 kilo ohm uh, resistance. I'll then take my thermometer here and then uh, take a measure measurement so I can see what the temperature is. And uh, as you can see, it is around 6.4 degrees. So um, I will then uh, calibrate my instrument on the outside of the boat here. Yeah. And as you can see, it is snowing on the outside here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, my temperature is uh, right now only 3.8 degrees. But um, yeah, I will then calibrate it to um, so it is around six or seven, seven degrees. Yeah, look. And then we have Centius, and then I will put it up around six, seven degrees. Yeah, six point eight, I think. Six point three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, six point three is is okay. Yeah, and then my. Uh, Temperature sensor is uh, working properly, so um, yeah, very nice success. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. So it is possible to to fix it. Cheap. <laughs> when we look at my little masterpiece here, I made when I <laughs> was in school. You can see uh, right there, there is uh, sitting a little uh, thermistor. Um, this uh, thermistor is uh, called a NTC uh, thermistor, uh, which means uh, when you uh, take a measurement with your meter here, you switch it to uh, yeah, 20, 20 kilo ohms. And um, this uh, thermistor here must uh, then um, read uh, 10 kilo ohms uh, over the, um, yeah, the wires there um, at a certain uh, temperature uh, which means uh, this uh, thermistor uh, it should read uh, 10 kilo ohms at uh, 25 uh, Celsius degrees but um, yeah as you know uh, the temperature is uh, not very high right now, so it is a bit uh, lower. The NTC uh, thermistor is uh, built uh, on that way. Uh, when the heat uh, goes up, the res resistance will uh, go down. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can sh I can show you uh, with one hand. But um, yeah, a bit uh, hard to measure here. As you can see, when I take a measurement on the thermistor, it is around eight uh, kilo ohms. And when I heat it up, the resistance will uh, go down. And as you can see, the resistance is uh, going down when the thermistor gets more heat. You can also get a thermistor called uh, PTC, uh, which means uh, when it uh, gets hot, the resistance will go up instead of down. Um, but on this uh, boat or this air uh, system, the resistance will go down when the heat gets up. <laughs> so um, yeah, a bit difficult to uh, to understand, but uh, it is how it is working. Uh, yeah, the weather is not that nice right now. I think um, we have some, um, yeah, ice, ice uh, snow or ice rain. Uh, yeah, I know tonight it will be very, very, very cold. So um, I am also charging up the boat. So. Um, 
the batteries can uh, withstand the low, very low temperature. I think it is uh, around, it will be uh, around uh, down to uh, minus 15 Celsius uh, degrees uh, tonight. So, um, yeah, if something uh, frost breaks, it will be <laughs> tonight, I think. Here we have the 10 kilo ohm uh, resistor. As you can see, uh, it is equipped with some stripes and it is uh, brown, black and orange. And then we have a gold stripe on the, on the right. But um, this little fellow here costs around, yeah, next to nothing. And um, it will then fix my, my little problem here. I will then uh, solder it on so uh, it is permanent mounted in the system here. So uh, everything is very good and nice. It is now soldered on more permit, permanently and uh, I will then uh, put around some um, yeah, isolating tape so it um, yeah, doesn't uh, shortcut or what you call it. Yeah, a single layer of this uh, isolating tape here and then I will put the whole thing together and uh, put around <laughs> some of uh, these uh, isolating tape mm, yeah it is of course uh, TSA it is uh, a good uh, known uh, quality the ISO tape is uh, now mounted here on the cable and uh, yeah it is almost <laughs> impossible to see there has been a repair and um, I'll then just uh, put in the transducer in its hole again and um, yeah then everything should be very fine and uh, function correct <laughs> yeah the transducer is now mounted again and as you can see the cable here isn't uh, touching anything or the, the ground here so I think it it will work just just fine uh, you can of course also uh, mount the resistance um, yeah, in another place of the boat uh, just on the cable somewhere um, I was also uh, thinking a bit about to uh, mount the yeah the resistance uh, at the instrument but um, yeah, it, it was a bit more easy to mount it here because uh, if I remove my instruments I don't know if it uh, begin to leak or something so uh, I thought it, it was a bit smarter to, uh, to mount it uh, right here. The transducer is now uh, mounted again and um, as you can see the temperature here is uh, beginning to, to drop uh, yeah, all rice. Right. It depends uh, on the the heat. But uh, a little trick I will also show you is uh, how to uh, turn on the illumination in the instrument here. You just uh, press the depth uh, key here or bottom, and uh, you can then adjust the illumination in uh, three levels. And uh, when you uh, have found the right level, as I yeah maybe number three here. I will then wait some seconds and uh, it will then go to uh, temperature again. So uh, yeah, but uh, very nice. I found the, the solution to the problem here and uh, I of course hope you have uh, enjoyed my video and uh, I, will, I will see you next time. Bye!